Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here, RemotePilot101.com. Did you know the FAA has denied over 900 certificates of waiver and authorization for flying in certain airspace, D and E airspace in this case? 81 airspace authorizations have been approved and in my hand, well on the iPad, I hold one of those authorizations here to operate in class delta airspace up to 100 feet AGL on the specific day. You can kind of follow, go through that process. They list everything out. Uh, nothing about contacting tower in here. Just says we need to be available at this phone number in case uh, the Ocala class delta tower needs to contact us. It gives us procedures if there's a lost link or lost communications. And then lastly, it gives us the attachment showing us where that delta goes through, where we are in that class delta here, and our one mile radius up to 100 feet that were approved to operate. And this is a major highway through Ocala, so it's, it's still a very uh, populated, very busy area, uh, popular airspace route to bring in traffic. So very uh, thankful to be approved for that. But we're going to be sharing how we became approved for this airspace authorization for and with our remotepilot101.com customer. So if you're already a customer of ours, be watching for that video. I'm going to share the details on how we did it. But I want to share some details with what the FAA had to say recently here. I'll just read it off my phone. It's talking about the stats I just shared with you. Uh, it was technically uh, 854 denials is what it actually was, 81 approvals here. It says, however, the agency has found that many applications have incorrect or incomplete information. Many applicants also request too many waivers or request waivers for flights in types of airspace the FAA has not yet granted approvals for. So that's where it talks about the 854 airspace applications that were actually rejected. The real secret here is to get the paperwork all done right the first time. You see, we've been dealing with the FAA for the past 10 years on our manned aircraft side of things with business. FAA testing, just dealing with the FAA in general. So we really know what they're looking for and how to just make sure the paperwork is flawless and perfect before you submit it to them. A lot of you guys are just rushing through this thinking just more is better and that's not the case. We submitted one waiver or one authorization request and received one approval. You just have to know what you're doing. So remotepilot101.com customers, we have a great video coming up. Where we're going to show how we applied for it. And this was, by the way, just three weeks ago. It wasn't, it, the time frame isn't what people are thinking. It's going to take months. The FAA said up to 90 days possibly. We got it done in three weeks. It is possible. We're going to show you the process three weeks ago when we applied. We're going to dive more into this waiver as well. And then when this date comes up, you'll see us at the actual control site uh, making that happen and flying this actual mission. So if you're not a customer, do check out remotepilot101.com to see that and also to earn your part 107. $99, the course is yours for life. You're going to love it. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. We'll see you.